What's up, guys? Thanks for clicking on my video. I hope you're all doing good out there. You guys, I have no idea what this box is. I've bought a lot of guns this last month, but I thought I got them all in. Let's see what's going on. We're just going to get right into it. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this gun in the first two minutes. So, don't click off this video. LCS Arms SK-19 The LCS wants to operate between 600 and 1,000 feet per second. Don't adjust your LCS SK-19 below 600 feet per second. It's regulated at 140 bar. This is optimized at the factory. If you raise the regulator pressure at all, you will be wasting air, but you will not have an increase in velocity. Do not touch the regulator. You can damage your gun. And like I said, it's optimized out of the factory. So the front knob is adjustable, but don't ever touch it. This information, by the way, is from the tech at AOA. His name is Don, and they made a nice air gun tuning and setup video for the SK-19. Link in the description. All the adjustment to this gun is going to be done with the power wheel in the rear. Now it's recommended when you're playing around or tuning your gun, do it over a chronograph so that you don't adjust the velocity below 600 feet per second. When you're facing forward, turning the wheel clockwise will increase the velocity. Don at AOA personally has a 25 caliber and he tuned it to shoot JSB 34 grains at 900 feet per second and then it's going to automatically shoot the 25 grains at 1000 feet per second. Now this has a polygon barrel so you can push pellets or slugs faster than normal because they fly straight a lot faster than you can with a rifle barrel. This gun uses air fast so you don't want to let the pressure drop below the regulator pressure which is 140. So you got to keep an eye on that. Now if you do go below 600 FPS or let your pressure drop below the regulator pressure, you have a danger of getting a pellet lodged halfway through the mechanism or in the, in the magazine or in the barrel. And if that happens, you have to send your gun in to get it fixed. They have to take the whole gun apart to get that pellet out of there. So it's pretty much like sudden death over time with this gun. So guys, this uh, video is not sponsored by anybody. I got this gun in trade. I traded a pretty rare gun for it. These sell for about $2,200. They're available at Air Guns of Arizona and other places. They do sell out pretty fast. So they sell out almost as fast as these guys get them in. So by the end of this video, though, you're going to have a good understanding of this gun and you probably will want one all right guys it's raining out but we got our sk19 do we care about the rain at air gun channel bugaboo hell no he's right about that so we're going to put this out at about 10 yards and uh sight my laser in <laughs> and my h and n's hardcore stats available in 22 caliber and 25 caliber each of the calibers holds 19 rounds. The magazine is non-removable, but it is super easy to load. It has an overall length of 35 inches. The barrel length is 23 inches. It weighs 7.75 pounds. 480 cc bottle, but you can also get a 580 cc bottle option. As well as, you guys, they have the double bottle adapter for this. So if you really want to get crazy, go ahead and throw two bottles on there. 70 shots per fill with your 480cc tank and you'll get about 90 shots per fill if you bump up to the 580cc tank. Picatinny scope rail. It has a adjustable regulator dial in the front. And a power adjustment wheel in the rear. But like I said, don't ever touch that front dial because uh, it can only do harm, let's just say. All right, here's the description from Air Guns of Arizona.
The SK-19 air rifle from LCS Arms represents a new generation in a semi-auto hammerless design. The tactical design and select fire function allows for semi-auto or full auto rate of fire. Made in the USA. It smells like burnt lead, you guys. The SK-19 provides an incredible rate of fire and high power. The LCS SK-19 magazine provide 19 shots. That will chamber the longest of available pellets or slugs. Accuracy is provided by a Lothar Walther barrel. And a highly tunable regulated action. Are you guys, that was 50 yards away. This is a golf ball. Okay, this is my group. So I just put 19 shots inside a 50 cent piece. Wasn't even trying either. The regulator is adjustable from a small, easy to access knob just in front of the air fill, which you should never touch. Cool as heck. A power wheel at the back of the action gives the shooter further command of the air delivery mechanism. Alright, you guys, I'm going to shoot this guy right in the head. The rifle sports two safeties. Here, take another headshot. A Picatinny scope rail and a bipod rail. The barrel is covered with a carbon fiber style shroud and silencer for a low muzzle report. The LCS SK-19 comes standard with a 480cc removable carbon bottle. That was no challenge. Hit this guy in the head though. And two pressure gauges for vital air supply and regulator pressure information. Wow, sent those guys freaking spinning. In full auto fire, the rifle will run through the 19 shot magazine in under three seconds. The SK-9 is a leap forward in air gunning fun and performance. Includes a hard case with securing straps and room for your favorite scope. Pretty sick, huh? You guys, this thing's super fun in semi-auto mode. It really doesn't eat pellet. Oh, if I had a bipod, these guys would be done. Sunny boy, I'm gonna hit this guy in the nose. Wow, did you see that? Spun him like a something something. It doesn't waste pellets at all because it's so accurate. Any shot that you hit your target exactly where you're aiming, that's not wasted. So nothing weird happens either when you start doing full auto. It's not like it starts spraying everywhere. It goes like in the same hole. So anyway, you guys see what I'm talking about. Here we go. All right, where do I want to mess this bell up? Let's hit it right on the corner right there. Ooh. My finger slipped on the trigger, guys. All right, you guys, we got like uh, zero wind right here. What's the forecast for wind today, bugaboo? Zero miles per hour! Sounds awesome. All right, we're all set up at 35 yards. Let's check this out. Now, I love the fact that you can fill it up on the side right there, it makes it super easy. Now, the guys at AOA said to fill it up to 250. Okay, so it goes to 300 in the green zone, but I'm gonna just go ahead and fill it to 250 as recommended. We are at 
34 yards away. Got our 25 grain and 33 grain. We're going to tune it for these pellets at 900 feet per second and we will be all set. If you want to see the difference between a 33 grain and a 25 grain, there it is. This right here is your 25 grain, your MK2 right there, 33 grain. There they are next to each other. So I won't be getting them mixed up or anything like that. We're going to start with the 34 grain. Got my chronograph and everything. Wow, you guys, that thing holds a lot of bullets. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where I'm going to hit. Just took this off the pulsar where we were sighting for 33 yards on a pulsar. Okay. Let's see how fast we're shooting. This gun literally has two safeties that are marked safe and fire. You know, that's cool. Okay. Let's go for the one shot sighting. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Some people say this is as accurate as an FX impact. Oh, actually, I didn't even check my FPS. 912 feet per second. That might be close enough to 900 feet per second, you guys. This thing might be already dialed in. Okay. Semi auto. All right, let me, um, you know, let's click this in. So bullet impact left, one click, and bullet impact down, two clicks. Now, guys, you just saw that last group, there was one that was a little bit off, one shot. And then in this next group, I'm actually going to shoot two flyers, but these are 100% my fault. And I'll tell you why after I shoot the group. Yeah, we're, we're perfectly tuned right now, you guys. That last one was 897 feet per second, so my gun's already tuned. So this is exactly what you want. You want 34 grain flying at 900 feet per second. The rest is up to you. All right, you guys, we had a couple fly flies, but boy, when it hits, it hits right in the same spot every time. So it's either a flyer or like perfectly through the same hole. Okay, guys, this is why I got flyers, uh, those, those two flyers. It's hard to see. Let me just zoom in here. You see this little lip right here? Okay. That holds your pellets in the magazine. There's no way they can come out. So let me just zoom out here. All right, so this door right here has the same lip on it. You can see it right there, okay? And it's going to hold your pellets in once you shut the door. But let's say this happens especially when you're, uh, let's say you shoot five rounds and you want to reload your magazine as you're walking through the forest. So you got some empties right here, let's just say. And then, um, so you're spinning, you're, but then... Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had... You 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you 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 want you want so much you could do anything. You're gonna end up spinning some full chambers, and that's when your pellets can kind of fall out a little bit, and they'll get caught right here. Let me just demonstrate. So as you can see, you guys, I'm loading these pellets in here, and they're staying just fine. But let's just say that one of them kind of. See how that one's sticking out a little bit right there? Now when I rotate my magazine in, it's still going to go in, okay? But it's going to shave that pellet in a most peculiar way. And then, I don't know if I got a picture of it. Alright, you guys, I actually spun this back around and there is exactly what will happen. Your magazine will cycle and rotate, but if you let one of the skirts hang out when you spin your mag through, that's what's going to happen too. And that's why I got my flyers. You know what, we can, we don't have to do that. We can pick any one of these freaking bullseyes. All right. Okay, that was an extreme flyer. Wowzer. Let's just finish out the clip. I don't even know how many I got left. Oh, 
that was it. So that's our 35 yard accuracy test. Let's do one more clip of 34 grains. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take out some more bullseyes at 34 yards with 34 grain GSBs. Gonna fill back up to a full tank. I got a full tank. 19 shots, here we go. Once again, I have at least one shaved up pellet that I saw, so we're gonna have a wiggity waggity coming. I don't know when. I don't know, guys, would you call that accurate? <laughs> okay, people told me this was an accurate gun. Um, yeah. All right, that was three shots, and I didn't have nothing to aim at anymore. Let's just take out as many bullseyes as we can with the 19 rounds. Wow, you guys, this is as accurate as any PCP out there. I mean, this is kind of what I was doing with the Day State Pulsar, and I was super impressed. Held over on that one, you guys. Yeah, I, mean, I got a teeny change in my point of impact apparently because I'm seeing where it hit and then I squeezed over to the other side a little bit. See, watch this. I'll hit in the middle of the bullseye by aiming right here. Okay, see how that works? So, you know what? My gun was super out of level, so that could have just been me. Okay, we've got a lot of power right here. Let's uh, smack some targets at 35 yards, 34 grains. Here's a video from the early days of Airgun Channel. A lot of you guys may not know, but all the Airgun channels got canceled at one point on YouTube. And Ted from Ted's Holdover kind of went to bat for everybody. And one day my channel just magically got turned back on about three months later. So I don't think this video ever got re-uploaded. So here's a little blast from the past. This right here is with a slow motion camera, which has since broke. Back then I didn't know how to combine sound with a different video clip. These still look pretty awesome though. So I'm going to save up for another slow motion camera. This time though, we're going to have sound along with this, but back in the day there was no sound. These still look pretty awesome though. All right guys, things are getting a little messy around here, but I am set up at 51 yards. So we're gonna do some 50 yards accuracy testing and then we'll get to these.
All right, you guys, I'm still at 35 yards. I'm going to see if I can full auto these guys. Whoops. Oh, you guys, nifty 50, let's do this. 34 grain JSPs. 250 bar. Let's see where we're hitting. Slipped on the trigger. Ooh, that's pretty freaking close. I had a feeling it would be. All right, so just sat down a teeny bit. We're gonna be in business, so that's only hitting like a half inch low from my 35 yard. Darn it. Official 50 yard accuracy group. Oh, let me just bump my power up my scope a little bit. Wow, you guys, I was doing this whole video on 8 power. Oops. Let's see what's up now. That was a flyer. Ooh, double tap. I was on <laughs> full auto that whole time, you guys. All right, now I'm on semi-auto. You guys, I loaded that thing pretty fast. We got a full tank again. We're on true semi auto. We're going to shoot a few official groups. Here we go. You guys, I'm like really concentrating on this group and I made sure my sight picture was just right too, so I think those other ones might have been a little bit me. Alright you guys, so that was the, the preceding group was the official group. Pretty good though, huh? Let's put the remaining through this hole right here. bulls I hadn't moved I would have hit it you guys this thing is accurate enough to be so freaking fun target time all right you guys this should be fun we're gonna do some full auto groups at 50 yards GSP 34 grain you guys I'm just gonna take one shot in semi-auto just to confirm where I'm hitting okay perfect for full auto all right and then we'll switch to full auto Ooh. Nice. All right. I mean, my finger kind of came off the trigger after two shots that time. Let's see here. Sweet, you guys. Like, it's really takes some practice, but oh, look at that. Two in one hole. Okay, let's see.
You guys, I'm gonna fill back up. We're gonna do a mag dump, 19 rounds. Those are pretty sweet groups. That was surprisingly easy. Like the gun didn't jump around at all. Kind of stayed right where it was. Nice. Nice. Those cans are at a full 55 yards away. Oh, made a mess. What? That was awesome. Look at this guy's got three shots in him. Check this out, you guys. Just annihilating those things, you guys, seriously. Now it's time for 25 grain GSB, 35 and 50 yard accuracy testing, semi auto. Pretty much a thousand feet per second, close enough. All right, I need to side up. Bullseye's freaking history. So guys, these are shooting as good as the uh, 34 grain. 1,000 feet per second, holy crap. Oh my gosh, you guys, was that awesome or what? Okay. <laughs> I've seen all I need to see. Let me go adjust the camera and we'll take care of these characters right here. All right, you guys, for something a little different, so we're going to splat these guys against the uh, background there instead of watching them fly into the forest. So here we go. All right, headshots. Whoa. Whoa.
gonna try to put it right through that lamb's horn. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot about that. It was all perfectly balanced and everything. Hold on. Cool as heck. All right, some of you guys might see this loading system and think, oh no, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to load, but really it's not at all. You flip it up like that. If it goes all the way up, that means you don't have enough air in your gun. Once again, guys, you never wanna let the pressure on this gun get low, so after two magazines, it's ready to fill up. I fill it up after about one. So that's gonna loosen your wheel. You can spin it either way. I think it spins a little better that way though. Now, here's the easy part, you guys. Over on the other side. Now, on the Huben K1, it's similar to this. I forgot, there's my door right there. But the Huben K1, it exposes about four of these slots, and you can only get the bullet into two of them, maybe three if you're lucky. This one's quite different. This sticks way, way out. So I can actually load one, two, three, four. No problem. So when you're loading your mag, this thing's going to spin freely, really nicely in there. If it's hung up at all, then you know that you got a pellet that's going to be a little bit shaved. Possible flyer on the way. When you're done loading, just close that door on the other side and put your lever down and now your wheel is locked and you're ready to go. Let's say you shoot four rounds. The empty ones come out this side so you can just open your door and go chunk, chunk, chunk. Got a full magazine again. That's another cool thing. Set up, I got my target way down there. 96 yards away. Close enough, we're gonna be doing uh, both the pellets today. I got something a little different. This is a scope cam because I have a hard time seeing what I hit at 100 yards. So, I got my RX target systems protecting the whole operation. This is gonna beam a signal back to my uh, wireless doodad here. And uh, we're gonna see it on the screen. Don't worry, I'll show you. Whoa, nice, look at that you guys. So I got my gun right here, and I got my target on the screen, yo. That's awesome, okay, so even an old man can see what he's shooting at 100 yards. And I didn't uh, take the time to line it all up correctly, but you know, whatever. This so guy's good news is I'm on 20 power with my scope, the bad news is the scope cam footage is not gonna come out too good, it never does. On the, at least with the side shot scope cam. All right, you guys, I'm all leveled up. Let me get in semi auto. All right, guys, just made a little bit of a scope cam adjustment. We're doing great. Okay, so I'm gonna aim at that dot right there, see where we hit. I think we were sighted in for 50. We're still shooting 25 grain JSBs and uh, mild wind. Oh yeah, a little bit of a dippy do. All right, hold on here. Wow, that showed up super clear on my little cami cam there. So basically, if I
Nope. Not even close. So that was fine what we had right there. leveled up. Let's go for a bullseye on here. That did not just happen, you guys. <laughs> Holy crap. I... I'm in shock right now, you guys, and hell no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> That's it. 100-yard accuracy testing is over, you guys. How sick is that? All right, guys, there it is, my 96-yard group. Covered by a dime except for that first one. So that was just my first try, you guys. Obviously, this gun's super accurate. Basically, I would call it the semi-automatic impact. And then you got a little full auto waiting in the wings, just in case. Alright you guys, final thoughts on the SK-19 by LCS Air Arms. I really like this 25 caliber. It's simple, it shoots two different pellets. You leave it at the same setting and you're set. I really like that. And really you guys, I could go on and on about all the stuff I like about this gun. The quick disconnect foster fitting, but really... What stands out to me is the accuracy. I never dreamed that a semi-automatic could shoot as good as this. This shoots as good as any lever action out there. So really an amazing uh, piece of work here from LCS Air Arms. So I already sent this gun along to one of my buddies. But these guns are definitely cool, so maybe there's a 22 in my future. In addition, I heard that LCS Air Arms is coming out with a 357 version of this gun. So hopefully we'll see another SK-19 here on the Airgun channel. All right, you guys, this is it for me on this one. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Thanks for watching. Everybody stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.